this piece, fold it like that, take this end, fold it, and then Previously here on Rimstar Org. It's my car shade solar cooker. I'm gonna get a little closer look at it there. You line it up, I first um, use my sun finder here. 200 Fahrenheit right there. I don't know if you can see that steam. And now for the tips and tricks. So I want to show you how I uh, figured out um, what shape to put the uh, car shade in. And the way I did it is like, uh, well, I didn't start out this way obviously, but this is what I worked out to eventually after some uh, about 10 minutes of adjusting. Uh, what I do is th the sun is coming in straight, right? Because you make the, the solar cooker face the sun, so the sun is coming in straight. All the sun's rays are coming in straight at the cooker. So what you do is you look at the cooker from the sun's point of view. For example, right here, the sun is looking here, and if I see black there, then I'm seeing the pot being reflected. In other words, the sun's rays going to go from here down to there. Um, so that's good right there. Uh, up here I've got a dead spot. I don't see any black there and what's going to happen is the sun's ray is going to go here and then bounce down to here or something. So it's useless, but that's not too bad. If I keep moving around again, pretending I'm the sun, uh, black, black, all black there. Okay, a little bit of loss there, but here I'm all nice and black. And pretending I'm the sun, trying very hard to pretend I'm at this, the angle that the sun would be. So this area is not too useful. That's not a big loss. At least right here I've got all black. Black, black. And back to here all black. So that's not bad. That means my sun capture area is an area like this. Down to here. And here. Here. And back to there. So that's pretty good. As you saw, it actually works quite well too. That's how I figured that out. I just want to talk a bit about the uh, oven bag. Uh, if you're like me, probably well, a few months ago, I never heard of these things. So basically they're typically used uh, for putting things like turkeys and so on in the oven. Uh, I've never used it for that purpose. Uh, I got it from the grocery store and I found it in the section where they have the aluminum foil and the uh, kitchen wrap and the baggies and things like that. There were a variety of brands. There was also a Reynolds brand. I just happened to pick this one. Uh, it came with two. And they just come folded up inside here. Um, just go to your uh, grocery store and ask around. You should find them there. Uh, also, a place like Walmart has them, I've heard. Uh, um, just any place that has groceries, basically. And I went pretty fancy and tried to optimize it, as I talked about. I'll just take it apart here. So that's the coat hanger that I used for uh, the bottom. That's the coat hanger wire I used for the top there. So really, the board. And there's the car shade cooker. Uh, no, the car shade actually. I'll just fold it up here. That's what it normally comes like. And I'm showing you very simply, uh, if you want to do it very simply, what you do is you just take this piece, fold it like that, take this end, fold it and then grab them, and there you go. Take something like a clip, tape, whatever you want to do. And there you go, there you have a um, car shade solar cooker. Then you can do whatever you want to optimize the angles. Another thing I should mention, this actually isn't a very good car shade, um, because it's got all these bumps, right? It's all made of bumps. The flatter the reflector surface you can get, the better. Although you saw with the optimization I did, I did pretty good. Another thing I can show you, uh, here's my coat hanger wire. I just started straightening it out. It's another way people often do it. Take something like a clip or whatever. Clip it on the one side. Figure out how big you want it to be open. And bend in your wire there or whatever. You know, basically do whatever you need to get it to hold open. Another thing people sometimes do, get a bucket. Just put it in the bucket. And that way you can you can give it a steeper angle. Mine was flat on the ground because I was cooking early in the morning. If you're cooking later in the day, your sun is higher in the sky, then you do something like that. 
My first attempt with this car shade was to just put a clothes hanger across as I just showed you, and as you see here. But I could only get up to around 170 Fahrenheit that way. It wasn't until I switched to the more careful optimization like I showed you at the beginning of this video that I got to 200 Fahrenheit. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like these videos. If you haven't done so already, have a look at the video where I show this car shade actually being used to do some solar cooking. Also, pay a visit to my YouTube channel, RimStar.org, to see more helpful videos about other types of solar cookers. Bye for now!